Chances are, you've seen the insane amount of progress people have been making on VSC lately, one of those people being Jackson Amore. So quickly that people started to accuse him of being illegitimate and using anything in their resources to do so. I'm making this video to hopefully clear up some of these accusations and provide people with more information that has gone under the radar. So with that said, here are what some people think about Jackson Amore. Okay, let's get to the point, I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. Jackson Amore is primarily a VSC player who had the non-Yasserian world record for a few days before Diamond came out of the blue and started making progress left and right. The first thing you will see if you look up Jackson Amore is a video by Lelzy titled GD's Most Brain Dead Hacker. The video makes a ton of claims which I'll get to shortly, but in the description it says as follows, I'd gladly be proven wrong. Well, that is exactly what I plan to do. Grab your popcorn or snacks and sit back because I'm going to explain exactly why and how Jackson Amore is a legit player. So as the video suggests, we start with inhuman progression. Jackson Amore gained progress at what seemed like a very inhuman rate on VSC, but there's a great explanation to why this is. He plays VSC for two hours every day. He has never released his attempt count, but over a screen share session where I watched his screen for over an hour and a half, it totaled 208,000 attempts. Which makes sense considering two hours every day will rack up attempts super quickly, especially on a level like VSC. Their evidence for his inhuman progression is using his happy chamber run from 33 to 100, and stating that it is impossible to go from a happy chamber run, which was 3 months ago, to the VSC world record. The thing is, he was already playing VSC by the time he got the happy chamber run. He had been playing VSC for much longer than that, actually. So it's not the most accurate accusation to put forth. Also, it goes without saying that the more you play a level, the more you improve at it. You could play VSC for 5 months straight without playing any other level, and you would most likely only improve at VSC since you played it for so long. Well, that is exactly what happened here. Jackson Amore is one of the best VSC players I've ever seen, and it makes total sense that when asked to play another challenge that he isn't as versatile, he will struggle with the other easier challenge, obviously, since he has been playing VSC for so much longer that it has essentially changed his skill set. Now, this type of progression can seem to be impossible, and I understand that assumption. However, with the claim in this video, it makes it seem like he played VSC after getting the Happy Chamber run, when it is entirely the opposite. TLDR, he has been playing VSC for a lot longer than 3 months, and once that is realized, it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? You can test yourself if you'd really like. Play nothing but one level for 5 months, every day, for 2 hours. See the kind of progress you'll make. But of course, nobody wants to do that, unless you have undying motivation like our accused subject here. For our next accusation, we have that he never stated his attempt count, which made it kinda sus, not gonna lie. Alright, well I just stated it, and if you need even further proof, here's the clip where I asked to see the attempts myself. Can you show me how many attempts you have, like, now that my mic isn't shitting itself on OBS? <laughs> Bro. No matter how many attempts, you would never see that kind of progression? I have a prime example. Space UK jumped from Layak to Wazaretta, and relatively quickly too, only taking 35,000 attempts. This kind of progression should be inhuman, right? But it wasn't. He is the current top player on Pointer Crate, and keep in mind Wazaretta was his fourth demon. Anything is possible. Now to explain the raw footage fiasco, many assumed that Jackson Moore just did not want to send raw footage to avoid people questioning his legitimacy, and this is false. He tried uploading it to Google Drive, but of course Google Drive has a 15GB limit. In order to go over this, you need to pay for a $2 plan. The file is 18.9GB and 52 minutes in length. If someone had the balls to muster together a hacked 52 minute raw footage, they would be clinically insane. I watched through most of it myself to pick out any inconsistencies, and honestly at that rate you're just nitpicking and using assumptions more than actual evidence. As an alternative, he uploaded it to Mega, but by the time he did, everyone already believed that he was trying to cover something up. Many are very quick to jump on the easiest conclusion, and many will not conduct their own research. I also think it's funny, but I need to mention that Jackson Amore did not know what raw footage was at the time, as he has never needed to send any. So that's also another explanation as to why he didn't know he couldn't trim it. In fact, I can see where Jackson Amore is coming from when it comes to wanting to trim raw footage. I hate my It Burns reaction, and everything after it. Since I didn't clip it maybe until a minute and a half later, everything else in that video was capable of being seen. And funny enough, this was the first time I had to send raw footage to anyone too, so this was an interesting experience to say the least. If you are unaware, Discord has a function where you only allow people who are in the same servers as you to message you. Jackson Moore left a server called the VSC instead of blocking Benedict, and that would have been the only mutual server they share. And I think that should be clear. Deleting Benedict's comment is a bad look. In my opinion, that is the only thing that went wrong. 
But does that give you concrete evidence that he is illegitimate? No! Don't jump to conclusions! Most of these claims are just well thought up assumptions and there is no proof behind them. Formerly Slenix, Odyssey said that Jackson were hacked 39 on the Electro variant of VSC, and a 39 and 64 run on Bo's version, and that is all he knows. After doing a little bit of research, I found out that he has beaten Electro's version of VSC, which is not hard to believe after seeing him play VSC in a group call. Yet Jackson Moore mentioned that he'd no-clipped 64 Progress a while ago, where it was uploaded for less than a day. He owned up to it really well and I respect that, and in my opinion, it betters his case by owning up to it. So to answer Lelzy in the video, Slenix isn't lying, but the methods that were used to achieve illegitimate progress were no-clip and only no-clip, which then again was blatant. Jackson Moore even jokes about it now in VC and occasionally says, oh yeah yeah yeah, 64 VSC guys. I wouldn't necessarily say it's blatant botting proof. Saying that he bots blatantly is a pretty large stretch. While I'm watching Jackson Moore play VSC, he exits out somewhat frequently to either change his icons or play another version of VSC, and I do the same thing myself when I play Wazaretta. Like, I have a very short attention span, so I need to constantly do something different, and I wouldn't necessarily say this leads to blatant botting proof at all. Sometimes I exit and re-enter a level because I notice a significant increase in frames after exiting a longer session, and this could be anything after 15 minutes for me. Well, another thing to mention is that he has a very similar computer to me, so we both don't have that great of a computer, so maybe we experience the same thing here where exiting a session does just give us better frames. I would not be surprised. His best before that was 58 as seen in his progress bar. If you go to his raw footage and look at any point in time where he pauses before the run, it says that he does not have 58 but 45 on VSC. He has no new best pop-up enabled, and you can see it if you go to it at any point in his raw footage and observe his Mega Hack V7 settings. In my opinion, this video should have a little more patience behind it, at least waited until any raw footage was provided before making claims. Well, maybe he could be clicking over a macro- no, no. It's usually really obvious to tell if someone is clicking over a macro just off of the sound of the clicks themselves. Many that try this end up failing horribly because the intensity of each click sounds different, so if someone lightly clicks at a hard click in the bot, it visually does not match up nor make sense. Saying that someone is clicking over a macro isn't the best claim. You would have to edit the hand cam to match each click perfectly, each input, click and release frame perfectly. And at that rate, the visual inconsistencies in the hand cam would be apparent, such as like speeding up or slowing down. Alright, so I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail for Lelzy's video. And yes, you can make a macro run by clicking, depending on the bot you are using. I don't think this is the best evidence, but I can see why it would be quick to be used. Even in some of my completions, I do very dumb movements before I beat or do a run on a level, just to fix my grip on my mouse. To finish off his video, Lelzy sums up that Jackson Moore is either a hacker or someone who makes inhuman progress, gets most of his runs in smaller sessions, has to trim raw footage and can't even send it, well, I mean, we, we know where that went, conveniently has his hand out of view and blocks and deletes doubters instead of proving them wrong. And since he wasn't able to prove them wrong, I will prove them wrong, so I guess that's two birds with one stone. As further proof, I'm going to be showing runs that I've compiled that I've seen Jackson Moore do over screen share. Since I know that my word may not be enough for some people, everyone has their opinions and I did the best that I could to hopefully bring the light to this situation that my friend is in. I'm gonna restart recording because I'm lagging. Alright. Because the longer I record, the worse it is. Does that happen for you? Because yes. like I was recording for an hour and forty. Oh my. my no catches. Oh my god! <laughs> 208,666. Oh my god. Oh my Wait. god. No shot. No shirt. Oh my god. Yo! <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh. I got kicked out of my room at 3 a.m. I now have to sleep on the couch. Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. I'm not That was the best attempt I've ever had. Oh my god. I got kicked out of my room at 3 a.m. I now have to sleep on the couch.
Oh my god! Yeah! Since 57 on BSC, he has turned on Cheat Indicator and is taking further precautions to further help prove himself legit. So that is... <laughs> that's even better. With all of that said, thank you for watching. I appreciate that you guys took the time to watch this video. I never make videos like this, but I kinda wanted to get this out there before people dig an even deeper hole for someone who is legit. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.